a satellite scan has revealed something extraordinary, a heat trace buried nearly five miles below Antarctica's thick ice sheet. If the theories around it are correct, this discovery could prove that what we perceive as reality is nothing more than program code. For years, researchers at Oxford University have theorized that our entire existence may be a computer simulation. Now, a group of physicists has developed a groundbreaking experiment that could provide actual evidence. Their early findings shake the very foundations of quantum physics, suggesting that the structure of reality contains patterns that nature alone should not produce. This isn't just another speculative idea. For the first time, there's a feasible test that could demonstrate whether the cosmos is being rendered by an advanced intelligence, whether everything we see is essentially the coded output of a vast computational system. Even more puzzling, the experiment is already producing results that conventional physics cannot account for. What was once a philosophical debate, the simulation hypothesis, has now edged into serious scientific territory. Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom argued that if advanced civilizations are capable of running lifelike simulations, then statistically it's far more probable that we are characters inside one than inhabitants of a base reality. It's a conclusion both fascinating and unsettling, if true. Then everything familiar to us, our memories, experiences, and even consciousness, are just data streams inside a cosmic program. What makes the current experiments remarkable is that they're not looking for dramatic, matrix-like glitches, but for measurable computational boundaries in the universe itself. In other words, a kind of pixelation hidden deep in what looks like seamless space. Confirming such a discovery would transform not only physics, but also our understanding of mind, existence, and even the possibility of accessing a higher reality beyond our world. It would also imply that if our universe is simulated, then one day we might be able to modify its rules, essentially hacking the underlying code, unlocking capacities that from our current perspective would resemble superhuman abilities. But how can artificial universe feel so convincingly real without leaving obvious traces? Physicists suggest the answer lies in limits. Reality appears continuous, but a simulation must work within finite resolution. As Silas Bean and colleagues proposed in 2012, if our universe is computed on a three-dimensional lattice, extremely energetic cosmic rays might move along preferred grid directions, betraying the hidden framework. This would be like zooming in on an ultra-realistic video game sooner or later. You hit the pixels. Even more disturbing is that many qualities of quantum mechanics seem tailor-made for an optimized simulation. Particles appear undecided until measured, as though the system renders only what's observed precisely the kind of resource-saving strategy used in computer simulations. The question is obvious. What if the bizarre indeterminacy of subatomic behavior reflects not mystery, but efficiency? In fact, in 2023, scientists uncovered something astonishing. Buried in the mathematics of supersymmetry were patterns identical to error-correcting codes. The digital safeguards used in computer systems to preserve data. The discovery by theoretical physicist S. James Gates Jr. suggested that our physical reality may literally be underpinned by digital architecture. For the first time, the line between science fiction and hard science is blurring. These weren't just similar code-like structures, they were exact replicas of the error-correcting sequences software engineers rely on. I felt drawn toward error-correcting codes, said Gates. But what baffled me was why they showed up in equations dealing with quarks and electrons. This revelation pushed him to consider an unsettling possibility. The underlying mathematics of nature may actually be program code. It's not that scientists lacked hints of simulation before, it's that no one knew precisely where to search. Today, physicist and former NASA engineer Thomas Campbell is pushing the investigation further. Since 2024, his team has been running controlled experiments meant to expose the universe as it renders itself in real time much like a video game generates only the scenery within a player's field of view. Campbell's question is simple yet staggering. Could our reality only calculate the details we actively observe? In 2018, Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom posed this very challenge in a now famous paper, if we truly inhabit a simulation. How could we ever detect it? His simulation argument didn't insist that it's definitely the case, but framed it as a testable hypothesis signatures of computational design might exist. Subtle but discoverable. 
The clue wouldn't be cinematic glitches, it would be faint fingerprints of calculation. Consider the strange quantized structure of physics, discrete packets of energy, indivisible particles, and rigid limits on space-time. For all our advanced technology, capable of spotting black holes across distant galaxies or landing robots on Mars, reality at its core remains strangely pixel-like. And what if these cosmic limits are deliberate? The finite speed of light, the quantization of energy, and the unforgiving constants of physics may themselves be constraints built into the simulation's engine, similar to how video games enforce rendering distances, frame rates, or processing ceilings. MIT physicist Max Tegmark highlighted that nature is entirely mathematical. Every phenomenon expressed through equations. If I were a character inside a game, Tegmark noted, the rules I saw would also appear mathematical and absolute because they're just the software code it runs on. But here's the twist. Maybe we're not only passive inhabitants inside this grand virtuality. Maybe we can test the system itself. That's what Campbell's team at Cal Poly University has set out to do with pioneering quantum experiments. Their project investigates whether reality exists only when consciously interacted with, echoing the way a simulation withholds unnecessary details until needed. This isn't theory and abstract, it's a direct attempt at empirical verification. If their results confirm that observation actively renders existence, it would mark nothing less than scientific revolution. The entire worldview of physics, consciousness, and cosmology would be rewritten. A paradigm shift with implications as vast as the universe itself. Physics, biology, and even consciousness itself could begin to be reinterpreted not as discoveries of natural laws, but as studies of the parameters of an underlying simulation. Inevitably, a brand new scientific discipline would emerge, something that might be called computational reality science. Our entire understanding of awareness would be turned upside down. If Thomas Campbell's experimental results suggest that reality only appears when observed, it would imply that consciousness is not merely a passive witness to the universe, but a defining force in its very creation. Religious and philosophical traditions would face both unprecedented questions and transformative possibilities. Some might interpret the simulation as evidence of a higher creator, while others would ask whether the simulators themselves are intelligent beings or merely components of yet another deeper, possibly endless, hierarchy of realities. The practical consequences of such a discovery would be nothing short of revolutionary. If it were proven that we inhabit a simulation, the next step for science would be to search for ways to directly interact with it. Perhaps researchers could even manipulate the underlying code that structures our existence. Imagine the possibilities, establishing communication with the simulators, uncovering built-in shortcuts or cheat codes, or even transferring consciousness into different simulated environments. Concepts that were once confined to science fiction could suddenly become legitimate paths of scientific research. Such a revelation would not just prove our reality is artificial, it would reflect back on us showing that our very existence occurs within a creative framework, possibly for reasons beyond chance. To put the simulation hypothesis in context, we can trace its lineage through older models of questioning reality, from Plato's allegory of the cave to Descartes' thought experiment of the deceptive demon. Philosophers have long speculated about illusionary worlds, but those ideas remained abstract philosophy without experimental grounding. Modern theories like the holographic principle suggest our three-dimensional world could be an emergent projection from two-dimensional information, a concept supported by elements of string theory, but still inconclusive. For decades, the simulation hypothesis appeared in popular culture. Films like The Matrix brought it to mainstream attention, yet it lingered as speculation. Only when our own computing systems began building highly realistic simulations did the idea gain scientific credibility. Previous theories were often criticized as unfalsifiable, but what we're learning today suggests reality may be far stranger and more structured than we imagined. Although no verifiable glitch in reality has ever been observed and past efforts lacked hard data, the new generation of experiments forces science to widen its perspective. Perhaps, all along, we've been asking the wrong questions about the very foundations of reality. This is the vital distinction Researchers like Campbell are no longer relying only on philosophical arguments. They're conducting targeted, 
controlled physics experiments, ones that could expose inconsistencies appearing only if reality were generated externally. If these studies yield positive results, the very fabric of what we call existence will be redefined. Current projects, Campbell's quantum investigations, Melvin Vopson's information-based physics models, and the hunt for unusual cosmic ray patterns all aim at answering the same question. Does the universe behave like a computational system? We like to think of ourselves as independent beings inhabiting a natural world. But on a deeper level, we might simply be interactive components inside a vast, coded program. So, what might these ongoing experiments reveal? Will they show that we live in a programmed cosmos? That our universe is natural but filled with deceptive regularities? Or that consciousness itself is the missing key to unlocking the truth? Share your thoughts as we continue to unravel these mysteries in upcoming explorations of physics and reality. One thing is clear, the simulation hypothesis is no longer just entertaining philosophy. It has entered the realm of testable science, and if even one experiment provides confirmation, it will redefine everything we believed about the universe, life, and our own existence.